Greetings. We are with the band members of Sask Steel. And guys, we're so excited to have you here. It's all in aid of an upcoming gig that you're doing out at Street Fest in Watson on June 23rd. So welcome to our studio. Yeah, thanks for having us, Maury. I appreciate that. You betcha. Now, you guys are right now at this moment shotgunned all over the province. So uh, one of the things uh, I got to know is where you all are at. Gavin, we'll start with you. Yeah, for sure. So um, I'm originally from a green farm south of Lantman, Saskatchewan. And currently I'm in my truck outside work here in Estevan, work at a vet clinic here in town. But yeah, I've been around Lantman for most of my life and then uh, Saskatoon when the school year kicks off. Lampman. You know, very, very few people might know exactly where Lampman is, yeah. but I know it's on the other end of the rail line in the town I grew up in. So that's cool. Levi, where are you at? So I'm out by Lucky Lake on a grain farm. We're just doing in-crop herbicide these past couple of weeks. And um, I'm also in Saskatoon during the winter for university. That's where I've been the past few years doing agribusiness. Gotcha. Good. And we got a family connection here, too. I think we got <laughs> Lane down there, uh, your brother, right? Absolutely. So obviously, yeah, I'm, uh, origins from Lucky Lake, right? Yeah, you bet. And then uh, now I'm living in Saskatoon here. I'm uh, I'm just working right now at the local radio station. I've also got my own studio that I'm running as well. Great stuff. And of course, our local uh, anchor guy here, uh, Evan Zentner. And Evan, you are parked somewhere uh, out by Leroy Watson. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Kind of in between uh, Leroy Watson and Inglefell is where my family farms. I attended Perfect. school in Leroy. So four farm guys. There's a fifth. Who's missing today? Alex Van Stavern. Okay, from, so where's Alex from? From Creelman, Saskatchewan. So well, that's close enough south. to Lampman to... Yeah. Okay, got it. Geez, I'm just testing my geography. I got to ask you guys, four farm guys from out there, how do you all get together and mesh as one musical unit? What's the story behind that? I guess we uh, all met through university. You know, lots of, of like a friend of a friend introduced that, oh, this guy plays drums. Oh, this guy plays bass. This guy plays anything with strings, you know. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of kind of a, a unique way to really connect and form this band. But it was all through through the College of Agriculture is really where we where we got things to going. So I yeah. love that. And and there's the country roots for you. Yeah, you guys do a lot of country. You do country rock, but you guys have more of like an edge to it. It's more like metal a bit. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, could you guys describe a little bit of that and how you got how you formed those two together? Because those are two tough things to form. I guess uh I could speak to this a little bit. We uh we all grew up with uh, country and traditional roots. Um, our music influences, however, have been rock and roll, I think collectively across the board, but mixed in with some traditional country. And I guess creating a new sound that way was something that um, a, a band called Hardy has done. And that has largely influenced the way we um, play our own music and, and largely the influences the way we cover some some songs perfect i should also well, go ahead i should also add i mean we all uh had our own little walks too like lane and levi you know punk rockers evan and uh alex country dudes and then i've been playing a lot of bluegrass in my life and then we all can come together and make some pretty good sounding stuff we're not afraid to change up some instrumentation and and make some songs like, like our own even if we're covering it so i think um, we are really good dynamic as a group and as friends and and we can make all our backgrounds really work together in a in a different sort of style that's really entertaining for a lot of people yeah. perfect so i i guess i'd ask uh, you guys do some covers uh what's uh the folks in watson what are they going to experience who are they going to hear and then we'll get into your own music sure i guess uh, yeah. Yeah, lane ahead, we'll lane. go with you Sure. Yeah, we got lots of like kind of your basic uh, bread and butter crowd pleasers, uh, like fishing in the dark, fake IDs, kind of one of our favorites, Burning Man as well. Um, but yeah, all of them. I mean, we kind of we kind of play the gist of the song, but then most of it is kind of us like playing it just however we figure it out sounds best. Right. And we're kind of changing things up as we go and just kind of making it work that way. 
Perfect. Taking liberties with uh, with the classics. I love it. And um, with your guys' covers, you also do singles now, and you guys just recorded one, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And ahead. with singles Sorry. come... Right in the office, not bad. <laughs> with singles come albums, are you guys working on fleshing out a full album? Yeah, right now we're kind of starting with uh, one song just to get, get something out there, because that's uh, one thing we've been trying to find find the time to do i guess and then we're hoping later this fall get a get a full ep or album started and then and then get that out as soon as we can and do you guys have a release date for your single not scheduled That's at this time not not yet not yet it's almost done we've got uh, we just finished recording vocals the other day and then just got to finish up guitar tracks and then we'll get it uh mixed and mastered and then put out there Perfect. Well, I'll be waiting for that because I'm actually really excited for it. Yeah, no kidding. Awesome. We've been listening to these guys and it's it's something else. And you guys have been hitting the road too. You uh, had a gig at the Long Branch. How was that? That was fantastic, yeah. actually. Yeah. It's never a bad time playing there. It's uh, the people that go to that bar um, that are patrons of live music. They're really no different than us, just local people that are looking for some fun on the weekend. So it's it's a great atmosphere and a great venue to play. Perfect. You guys got some other dates coming up? Yes, we are in Watson on Friday, and then we are in Hepburn the following day. And that'll be the extent of our June run, and we will announce um, show dates for later on in the summer, come July Perfect. 1st, probably. Get a bunch of them in before harvest, you guys. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's the goal. <laughs> I figured out how that that operates. So, Evan, yeah. I got to ask you. You're kind of the the hometown anchor in this whole thing, right? Being from Watson, what's it like going back with these guys, right? Your your friends and and people who develop your own music and playing in the hometown. What what are you looking forward to there? Oh, it's a very exhilarating feeling. I've I've been looking for a, a hometown opportunity to come and play uh, for a long time, and lots of our our music, our business with music revolves kind of around the Saskatoon is like our hub. And we do branch out to small towns outside of it, but we largely play just right in Saskatoon. So this will be a new experience and a very proud moment for me to play around home. Perfect. Levi, we got to get you guys uh, out to Lucky Lake too, eh? <laughs> yeah, you got to find some more events going on. Well, you betcha and trust me uh you're gonna find them as time goes on guys thanks so much for being with us yeah thank you so much thanks for having me absolutely